guys, good day to you. Sharon here with you once again, coming to show you another cool DIY. Today, I'll be using these jars to create a different look to them. Um, whatever I'm using today, it's going to stay permanently on it. Well, unless you continuously wash the area over and over time, it's going to become undone. So, um... Do hope you're having a blessed day so far. May God cover and keep you safe throughout the day. Um, Valentine is just, you know, a couple of days away, so I'm anxious for that. Like I said previously, this is the first year I'll be actually celebrating Valentine's Day. I've never done so. So I'm like a little child, you know, waiting for a toy, a special toy at um, Christmas time. So let's get started with this project. So all I need for this project today is some rubber bands. I'm going to be using these bands. I noticed um, this was previously what I did my DIY um, napkin ring holders out of by clustering three and four of them together. So it's handy for doing a lot of stuff. So I just put the rubber bands on here and hook it on some. So these are the bands that I'm going to be using today. Um, I have some that I used previously so I'm just going to use those first because it's two jars I want to be doing so of course you have to clean your jar, get your jar cleaned and um, you're just going to be taking the rubber bands and placing them around the jar now it, it's up to you however you want to put the rubber bands if you want to put them straight if you want to put them slant it's totally up to the design you want to create. Because I want my bands going in different direction, I'm going to be placing it like that. So I'm starting from the bottom. And I'm just filling in the bands where I think I want the final look to be. So this is what I start getting, like this, these different shapes going right through. And you could create such lovely designs just using rubber bands or even um, tape. So like I said, I'm just going in crisscrossing if I wanted to. Watching the shape that I'm getting some bigger, some smaller. So this is it. And you just continue doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. Until you have gotten all the pieces with the look that you want. Now this is very simple decor. So I'm just gonna shift this one a bit. Kind of pull it here. Anything with the rubber band as opposed to um tape is that you can maneuver the rubber band however you want it. So look at the cool design I've already gotten from this. So uh, you can continue however high you want or you can stop there. I think I'll just pull this a little lower. And that's what's so cool about the rubber band before anything permanently is adhere. taking a couple other rubber bands. What I want to do is just place this to the top here. So I place one to the top. I'm 
just one not too far from it and this is what I'm looking for now seriously this looks cool as is <coughs> excuse me <coughs> without me even going through though so I'll just set this aside what I'll be doing for this so is using spray paint. I'm using silver and I'm going to spray paint it. Um, for the purposes of my birds outside, I have to be very cautious so I cannot spray here. Um, and you should spray in a well ventilated room um, area, sorry. So I have to be very careful of how I use these items. So I just continue on. This one. I already have something in it and I want to give it a little different look. So I'm just going to be pulling out a little blend already in it. I'm just emptying out the beads. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. So starting from the bottom. I'm just placing the rubber bands around. So you create whatever design you want to just by adding your rubber bands around. So I'm just crossing to create that look. And like I said, the great thing about the rubber band is that it stays how you put it, how you place it. Now, if you wanted a look going one direction like that, it's totally up to you if that's the look you're going for. So, you could create whatever look you desire out of that. I just want to run one at the bottom. And I could continue to go on as much as I would like the design. If I wanted to go right up to the top, I can do that. So this is what I have so far. So very simple and you continue to do so. So I'm just finishing off the top. So I did some going up and I did some the other direction. So I think it looks nice. So whenever you decide to try this, you can do your design however you would like to. And this is what it looks like. Now I think it looks cool like just like that. And I think maybe I'd use a deco just with rubber bands like that. So it's easily removed. And I've already spray painted the other one so I'll show you. So I went and spray painted this one right through. So you know it has some drying time before I remove the rubber band. And um... So I have to allow it to dry really good before I remove the bands. So, 
So this was one that I had previously got done. When I removed the bands, this is what you, the design you would get. And it really looks lovely. So it's up to you if you want to spray the whole um, bottle or if you want to stop wherever you decide to. But this is the finished look. A really elegant touch to a vase that you can now reuse for some other purpose. This glass was done in the same manner, except I taped off the bigger and smaller areas and just sprayed there. So you can also do your glasses. What I would suggest though, once you're going to be using it for drinking purposes, um, do not do anything to the rim of the glasses because you know um, the paint is not going to be safe. And for washing purposes, you know, you have to be very careful again with this. So this was the other design that I did with this. So I went and I got this sprayed right through. So I'm just leaving this to dry for a little while. And I'll show you what it looks like when I take it off. So I had done these previously and I'm thinking I just want to add a piece of diamond wrap to it and um, I want to use like six of these strings I just want to add it to give a little um, so I'm just cutting the amount that is needed to go along and I think I want to get it stuck somewhere about here So because it's two vases I have, I'm just cutting out the second piece so that I will stick the two of them one time. I'm just measuring it. Okay. To ensure that it's the same length. So in the meanwhile, I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up. Let me just check and see if this is dry. Um, I don't want to get it smudged. So carefully, I'm just raising the band. So that's one of them. It was done very nicely. I'll remove the second piece. So that's what it looks like. You do want you do want to be careful when you're taking it off that it does not smudge any other parts. So just be mindful of that. This is what we have, guys. So just have the two at the top to take off. If it's easier for you just to clip the um, rubber band, go right ahead. It will just come off easy. And I think I'll just clip this last one. And this is what your jar looks like. Very nice. See the effect that it gives. And you could do this in whatever color you would like to. And you've just given life to something that you had there all the time. So let me just check the other one. So I'm just taking off the last piece. And this is the finished look. 
see how gorgeous it came off simply by creating other looks for your pieces so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace my stones in the jar and my flowers so I've gotten it stuck in place I think it looks nicer with this little piece added to it and let me just show you the other pieces so I've placed that piece on this side of the living space and I've placed this piece on the other side so there's one on this side and one on the other side That's it guys for today for my house deals.